Good afternoon, everyone, and Happy New Year. And welcome to what will be a great conversation. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land, the Gadigal people, and thank Elders past and present for allowing us to be here this afternoon. We are especially honoured to have with us today Jean Wan, who's travelled here from Shanghai for this special occasion. CourageWorks is an institution that is committed to presenting the very best of contemporary art, and we are fortunate that Jean Wan has agreed, has allowed us to present Sydney Buddha here. If you were here with us last night for the opening, you would have seen the performance which removed the, fa the face and the hand of Sydney Buddha, and it was a very special moment. All of us at CourageWorks have very much enjoyed collaborating with Jean Wan and the studio in Shanghai. Joe Baptista and Pace Gallery New York and his team, and I'd especially like to welcome Joe and thank him for his support and generosity. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Today's translation has been made by the wonderful Yolande Tang, who has travelled with Jean Wan from Shanghai to work with us. Thank you, Yolande. <laughs> Today, Jean Wan is in conversation with CourageWorks curator Beatrice Grolton. Beatrice and her team have undertaken extraordinary work to deliver for us Jean Wan's vision for Sydney Buddha. Congratulations, Beatrice. Jean Wan is one of the most important artists of his generation. He rose to prominence at a time when contemporary Chinese art experienced an unprecedented period of attention in the early 1990s. In 1998, Jean Wan relocated from Beijing to New York City, where his work received extensive international exposure through inclusion in exhibitions such as the Venice Biennale in 2000, Yokohama International Triennale of Contemporary Art in 2001, and the Whitney Biennale in 2002. In 2005, Jean Wan returned to China to establish his studio in Shanghai, where he lives and works today. Some of Jean Wan's recent projects include the extraordinary Jean Wan Evoking Tradition, an exhibition at Storm King Art Centre in New York, which closed late last year, and his directorial debut in the Canadian opera company's Semele, which has been performed in Beijing and in Belgium and will be presented at BAM New York later this year. And um, now, Beatrice will start. Thank you. So, Zhang Wan, Sydney Buddha. It's a remarkable work, uh, and it's a work that requires many hands, many hours, and many tons of ash to build. Having just shown the audience the time-lapse film of the installation of Sydney Buddha, can you talk to us about your process behind making this work? Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Thank you for coming to listen to me in this hot summer afternoon. <laughs> and maybe my words are some nonsense. <laughs> Kantai 我们那么多人, After reviewing this video, I felt, I feel moved, surprised, and sentimental. What moved me deeply is because my team, they come to Sydney to do the installation for the first time, but they do excellent work. So, last night, Sydney Buddha didn't want to fall down. <laughs> Um Zhang 
，十年、五十年，一生就过去了。看到这个光影的变化，在这个空间的变化，确实很快。人的一生太快了。因为我在这边说，是我五十岁的感受。那么在座的有很多大姐、大哥们，更有这种感觉。What makes me sentimental is when I see this video. It's just like shown in the video. Life is so short. We can say in ten years or fifty years, time flies instantly. And I am fifty years old now. Maybe people. Here, you are 50 or under the age. You can feel the same feeling like me. When I see the change of the sunshine, I feel so deeply. We have to cherish our life and our time. 没把我的语言翻出来。Yes, last sentence. 我说在座的，像我的大哥们、姐姐、大姐们。哦。People sitting here, some of you are my elder sisters and my elder brothers. <laughs> Sorry for my mistake. So they understand the meaning of time and the meaning of life better than I do. So my elder sisters and my elder brothers, your understanding about life may be deeper and more understanding than me. 所以这个回到问题，回到这个问题，这个制作过程很复杂，很难，但是这都不难。最难的是，在你的心里，你有，你的心里有这个事情。你心里没有的话，你视而不见，看到所有的事情。都没有感觉，叫视而不见。Let's come back to this question. It is complicated work. It's so complicated and sophisticated work to do this process and this installation. But the most hard, the most important and the hardest thing is that you have to pay more attention to this issue in your heart. If you ignore everything, you cannot put it up and put it up and show it to the audience. So, important is you felt it. In your heart, it was already there. You took it out. You felt it. You felt it. This flower, in the art of the flower, represents China Western culture, traditional culture. You can find it and turn it into a modern art piece. The most important thing is you feel this. You feel this change, and you can do something. Like ash, ash represents the Oriental and the Chinese soul and culture. I discover ash and put it into my art creation. Great. So last night at the opening, those of you who were here, we were really lucky. To witness a performance element of the work, where after Uncle Max's smoking ceremony and welcome to country, we burnt incense uh, and then removed the face and the hands of, of the, the hand of the Buddha. Uh, what is the significance of this? Um, Mm. Uh, today, uh, is 当我第一眼看到这两位，呃，土著、呃、土著朋友的时候，我一下感觉到，这个中方、东方的这个文化，一下跟我们，呃，地球的南边，我们澳大利亚的这块土地，一下就开始碰撞，呃，那么从他这个
，呃，传统的这个叶子的燃烧，一个过程转换成，转换成这个东方的香的点燃，再插到这个佛上，这这个过程，我觉得就是一种灵魂的交融和。两种文化的这个沟通连接，呃，说的俗一点，精神的奥运圣火就不断。The opening ceremony last night was a special ritual to me. I've never experienced such a feeling. I worked with the two Australian traditional. Uncles, and we worked with them. It was great. At the first time I saw them, I felt the connection between Oriental culture with the Australian traditional culture. Australian culture locates in the south of this earth, and it's like a compact. When the uncles burnt the traditional leaves. It changes into the Oriental ritual of burning our incense ash. When I stick the, the incense ash into the Buddha, I felt the souls of the East and the West, the Oriental and the South, together. The two kinds of culture can communicate, and it's like the spiritual Olympic spirit will never end. It's beautiful. <laughs> and um, so, talk about ash a little bit more. Let's talk about the significance of ash as a material、uh, for you, and, and it's something that you've been using now for several years.、Mm. How do you go about collecting the ash from temples, and what was the response when you first asked? Show the ashes. Show the ashes. Show the ashes. 这个燃香、敬香、拜佛，在我我小时候很，可能是大部分的中国人的生活中，是一个日常生活。在家里有一个佛堂，呃，在一个村子里有一个寺院，在一个小堂的山上有一个大庙，所以这是一个日常生活的一个一个信仰仪式。I'm traditional Chinese, and、uh, in my childhood, from my childhood, I'm so familiar with this ritual. It's half of my life, and most Chinese people are so familiar with this tradition. We have a room or a space at home for Buddhists, and in the villages, we have temples. Also, on the mountains, we have big temples. It's part of our life. Burning incense ash and doing the prayers and worships are so common to us. So, from childhood, growing up, so big, this kind of life is unchanging. Even when I went to the world, Europe, America, and even when we went to different villages, we still have the same connection to this kind of life. From my childhood till now, I'm at this age. It is my constant life to burn and worship incense ash. I travel to most places in the world, including Europe, the USA, Australia. I visited different temples. It is connected closely to my life. 那么我在问我自己，为什么只有在八年前我才发现了这个材料，这个香灰？为什么以往就没注意到它？那么这我就感受到，是因为我在纽约生活的这八年，在纽约走走了很多的这个全球，走了很多的国家和城市。八年之后再次回到我的家乡、我的祖国的时候，我对它开始有认识。这是一个由于离开了这个国家。远距离的才能发现它的美，才能发现你自己是谁，你从哪里来。And、uh, I also ask myself, 
Why I discovered Ash after so many years? I lived in New York for eight years, and I traveled to many countries and cities around the world. I went to so many temples, but I didn't pay more attention to this Ash. When I came back to my homeland, I'm sorry, because I'm away from my homeland, distance. Distance builds up beauty. I can realize more deeply about my country and its traditional, and I can ask myself who I am and also where I am from. So, um, now I know who I am. Now I know my life is a painter. 现在我知道我未来应该去哪里。And so now I know who I am, and now I know my fate is an artist. I am doomed to be an artist, and also I know what my future will be. 很多年轻的艺术家，包括做其他行业的，在我演讲的时候，老师问我们应该怎么做。我们应该怎么把它做好，做我们的事情？那我老师问，我要老师问他们，你你的名字告诉我，你出生在哪一年、哪一月、哪一日？你来自哪一个地方？这一句话就是你一生要做的事情。I always meet many young people. They are young artists, or they do other works. They ask me. What shall we do? What shall I do? What can I do to be better? Then I will ask him, "What's your name? What's your birthday? What's your homeland?" This is what you must do throughout your life. Ah, 扯远了，回到问题。我的，我回到刚才的问题。对不起。I speak more about other things now. Let's come back to our question. <laughs> Well, the question. 呃，一般好的好的谈话都是这样的。Like this. Yeah. Actually, good talking, good conversation is just just like this. That's true. So let's talk about your studio at home in in Shanghai, a studio which is not unlike Carriage Works in its scale and architecture. You have over 100 people working there. Having this studio has enabled you to make much more ambitious projects and to push your work into new directions and very exciting directions. But what's it like to manage such a large studio, and how do you create space for your own thinking? Um, 一个艺术家不在意他有多大的工作室，也不在意他做多大的作品，也不重要的是他有多少人的助手，这些都不重要。重要的是他能做出什么样的作品，这个作品能不能影响？这个时代和未来，能不能为艺术史增加新的血液 ？It is not quite so important how big the studio is, and how big the work is, or how many assistants the artists have. The most important thing is what kind of artwork the artist can create. Can he? Do something to influence this era, and can he do something to influence the future? Can he do something to add more meaningful things to the art history, to refresh art history? Um, 我在工作室里边的位置。有点像寺院里边的，呃，大和尚主住持一样的，嗯
，分工都不一样，但是我是这个寺院的灵魂，我给一个方向，那么这些团队呢，实现这个目标。最后结束的时候，这个目标，我来控制它达到了没有？那么在中间过程中，每时每刻我都在关注这个过程。My role at the studio is something like the big monk in the mountains. We have so many assistants, but we do different work. I am the soul of this studio. I give direction to the team, and they will help me to realize my idea. I control when to stop and how to stop. And also, I am the director of the studio. Throughout the process, I pay more attention to it during each second. Um, this artwork, artwork piece, it is a sensory, sensory piece. 它不是听觉，也不是哲学，更不是文学，所以视觉艺术就需要艺术家时时刻刻要盯住它，要看它。这个过程，每一个过程你不在场的话，就有问题。We do visual art. My artworks are. I'm an artist, and I do visual art, so I need to pay more attention to it, second by second. My visual art is not like the music. It's not like literature or philosophy. So I have to pay more attention and focus on it. 经常在工作中，会在一个过程中，我会突然在做雕塑的时候会突然喊停，因为这是我从来没想到过程中有这么美妙的东西。Usually, several times during the process. I suddenly say, "Stop! Stop like this!" Because I've never imagined during this process I can have so beautiful artwork. It's beautiful. We were just on a slide a few moments ago of a train, a train wreck in Zhang Wan's studio, and that's a work from 2010 called Hope Tunnel. And you made this work in response to the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. Um, a cargo train loaded with grain and fuel caught on fire as a result of the earthquake and became trapped in the tunnel. It took workers six months to dig out the wreckage, to clear the tunnel and to reopen the railway line. You purchased what was left of the train and took it to your workshop in Shanghai, where you restored and transformed it, and transformed it into an artwork. Can you talk about making this work? Uh, 零八年，中国很大的在夏天，零八年的五月二十八号，在中国四川、汶川这一天是一个非常大的灾难，就是最大的历史上的一个地震发生了。那么，呃，之后的第三天大概，我在电视上看到了这辆火车正在，呃，不
And at the moment I saw this, I felt I have to do something to protect this uh, disaster evidence, and then I can think about it. I can think how to make it an artwork. And the things go like this. Uh, at that moment, the earthquake was, uh, the earthquake broke out. A train was traveling from uh, Gansu province to Sichuan through the tunnel called two and, uh, nine, 209. And it was about to go through this ex uh, exit of this hole, exit of this tunnel, but the earthquake happened and it caught fire because it was f full of fuel and uh, some food. It uh, was full, with, full of uh, smoke and fire. And uh, the, I'm so sorry. And the tunnel was full of smoke and fire. And uh, my instinct was to protect this. And I cared more about people's life, whether the drivers were safe or not. Um, 后来就我们就赶快飞到了，就是来查这辆火车到底在哪里，去坐飞机到西安，去了几个城市，最后差一点，如果晚去一天，就这个火车就把它回到一个钢铁厂，就把它又回收变成钢水，又变成就没有了，
能把这个画一直画得很好。那有的是一个电影导演，那我就属于一种呢，多变的，对对材料多种试验。一直要要变化中的艺术家，如果我不变，我就觉得这个艺术是太无聊了就，所以我一直在在捕捉新的东西，一个新的领域，老老是在跳跃这个新的可能性。Artists are made by different genes and different conditions, and artists are so different; they have their individuals. Uh, some things are doomed because of their characteristics, because they are genes, but we have to follow our heart and soul. Some can become painters because of their characteristics or because of their body essence, and some can be film directors. I am changeable. I like to be, change, be, to be changing all the time, and I try many vast media. I do many experiments. If I don't change, I feel so boring. So I have to urge myself to search for new space and new field. 呃，做歌剧导演，其实我根本不喜欢歌剧，也完全不懂歌剧。呃，纯属偶然。生命本身就很荒诞，这个人类本身就很无聊和荒诞。所以我做歌剧也是一个，在一种荒诞、无聊、偶然中成了一个歌剧导演。Actually, I don't like to be an opera director. Uh, to opera, I don't like it, and I know nothing about it. It will, it is actually a coincidence. Life is full of coincidence. Boring and ridiculous. So, <laughs> me, uh, myself, I think I am a director. It is this thing itself is so ridiculous. Um, because the first creation of the company and the creation method is Bilish Lamane Opera House's director and creator. They are looking for a Chinese artist. 来指导这部歌剧，他们找来找去找我，我说我不喜欢，我也不懂，我也没时间做。后来他们就找过我好几次，请我一定要做。我说多少钱赔我？嗯、uh, ，At the beginning, the donors, the organizers of this family opera was the Lamanay Opera Theatre of Belgium and.、Uh, Director and the donors, they found me, and they wanted they wanted to find a Chinese artist to do this job, and they found me. But I said no, I don't like、uh, dramas, I don't like opera, and I know nothing about it, so I will not、uh, do this job. But they found me, and they asked me several times. Then finally, I asked, "How much will you pay me?" <laughs> 因为这个制作很大的制作，我记得应该是两百万英镑的制作。他们给我的报酬是歌剧界导演的可能五倍，没有过的。Because the production of this opera is so big, is so huge. Maybe it's about.、Uh, Two hundred. No, no. No. Two million two pounds. Million, two million pounds. Wow. <laughs> It's about two million pounds, and they paid me、uh, probably five times of the ordinary opera directors, and maybe it's the highest in history. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 我跟我的。同事，我的工作室的同事讲，我们做不做？他们说做吧。张老师，你也没做过，我们试一把。这是另外一个领域。所以一旦我接手这个工作，我就全力以赴，开始用了两年时间，把这个歌剧花了很多精力，在我的工作室里
搭搭上了这个舞台。我的演员 r e h e 的时候，就是我的我的助手们，他们我们就开始那么冷的地方，我们那个我我们的工作室跟这边的空间尺寸。各方面都一样，唯一的不一样的地方就是我们没有空调，太冷了。嗯。I asked、uh, my colleagues at the studio, "Shall I do this? Shall we do this?" And they say, "Yes." We always call him Mr. Zhang. Always say, "Teacher Zhang, Teacher Zhang, do it." It's a new stage. It's a new space. Let's try. So once I took this job, I paid, I focused,、uh, I tried all my best to do this work, and I spent two years focusing on it. And also, we built stages at our studio. And when doing the、uh, rehearsals, all my assistants were the actors.、Uh, the only difference between my studio and the、uh, real theater is. No, good job. Oh,、uh, my studio is similar to Carriage Works.、Uh, the size, the style, is the all the same. But、uh, my size is really smaller. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. The size and the space are the same, but we have no air conditioner. And in Shanghai <laughs> at that time, it was winter. It was so cold, but we worked hard for this. 不要多说，也不要少说。<笑> no more words, no more translation, and no less translation. Don't steal his words. <笑>只有一样的，就是没有没有没有空调，没有空调，没有空调，我们就就生大的炉子放木材烧。所以整个过程让我学了很多，因为我要我是总导演，我要负责舞台的总设计，我要负责服装，我要负责灯光，所有的。视觉的，都的是我的，所以这个很有意思，很有挑战。后来 ，The only difference is because we we have no air conditioner, so I have to make a、uh, make us warm. So we had big ovens and we burned wood there.、Uh, I am the director of this opera, and I am in charge of all the things, including the stage, the design, the lighting. The costumes and the visual effect, so it's a big challenge, and it's so interesting to me. Um, 当然，这个团队都是专业的，所有的团队服，我的时装设计师，我的灯光，我的每个部门，指挥、乐团、歌唱班，所有都专业，只有我一个人是不专业的，这样的工作才有意义。Of course. My, my team has 600、uh, workers, and、uh, my team is professional. Each element, each group is professional, including the concert, the costumes, the designers. They are professional, but、uh, me, I am not professional at all. But only <laughs> in this way, I feel it's so interesting. 所以我带着这个部队走向了一个另外的道路。So in this way, I lead my troop to another path. 我把一个中国的家庭，九十年代的一个生活在一个四百年前的一个老祠堂里的一个家庭故事，跟。十七世纪韩斗的这个故事一下子糅合在了一起，所以对于欧洲，对于所有的观众，从来没看过这样的歌剧。从他的故事到他的舞台，再到他的很多地方。呃、uh, ，what path I lead them to? I put into the opera house a new Orientation, Oriental family story. This family live in an old family temple, which dated back to 400 years ago. And for this factory, many stories happened, but the stories are so familiar with the story of family of this Handel's work. And I bring quite new things to the European people, to the European audiences. 
the story is a good combination, but the stage design and many elements and many things are so strange and so new. I've never seen it. 对不起，所以我用两个人的话来概括对这个歌剧的评价，一个是。首演的这个马拉马奈歌剧院的院长 Peter 在对媒体讲的时候，六七年前他说，当时我们决定请一个当代中国的艺术家来导演这个歌剧，是一个非常非常危险的决定。但是今天首演结束了，告诉我们当时的危险决定是正确的，是成功的。啊。I can conclude the show of this opera according to two people. One is the director of Royal Lamanai Theater. He is Peter. He said, when we decided to ask to invite a contemporary Chinese artist to be the director of this opera. It was so dangerous. It was a dangerous decision, but after the inaugural, inaugural, it proved everything was so correct and everything was so successful. Uh, two years ago, this opera was brought to the Toronto Opera House. The director of the opera house, 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 the director of the 是他看到的歌剧里边前五位的最好的世界上的歌剧。And、uh, Peter's words were about seven years ago. And two years ago, when the opera moved toward to Toronto, the director of Toronto Theatre, Joe, another no no Bam 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 的 Joe 不是 Pace 的 Joe。啊，班姆布鲁林，啊，看到没？对，班姆的酒，啊，班姆的酒，是一个歌剧院的。是,是多伦多吗？不是，就是就啊，纽约的班姆的酒去参加了咱们歌剧院的那个呃，咱们多伦多的那个演出首演。他看完以后他的感觉。呃、uh, ，two years ago, another Joe who is the director of BAM, he went to see this. Uh, inaugural and at the dinner, he told me it's、uh, among the top five best、uh, operas he has never he has ever seen. He has ever appreciated. That's lovely. I think the the、uh, idea of you making opera as an artwork as a whole、uh, and taking such a risk also speaks to very much to your practice and to the history of your practice, which is about taking risks. Uh, and doing things that that may fail or fall apart, and you know that speaks to the ideas of change and impermanency, which are so current、um, and prevailing in your work. I know you have one、uh, more project that you're working on now, which opens in May in Shanghai, and it involves diamonds. <laughs> and I just want to ask you to very quickly tell the audience about it because we're running out of time, and we'll have time for two questions before we finish with Zhang Wan. So tell us about what's happening in Shanghai with the diamonds. Um, I've done a lot of this international, international, uh, work, this business work. But this is a challenge. Uh, in Shanghai, I'm doing a project in Shanghai, the most precious place in Shanghai, a jewelry store called I Do. Um, it's also similar to the classic opera of the time. It's very difficult to find an artist. 来做一个珠宝店的八百平米的一个珠宝店的设计。那么我们五月份要开幕。我们的理想是把艺术，把艺术从这个神圣的殿堂拉到我们现实生活来，这是我们想做的。我们要把艺术跟商业一下子结合起来，让让这些啊、呃、市民，让这些旅行者。进到我们上海的我们的店里边，他是在参观博物馆中，在体验这个空间中去消费，去买到他们喜爱的东西。珠宝。I have done many works besides art, 
and most of them are commercial works, but this one in May is a special challenge to me. Uh, the shop, I should say, the venue locates at the most uh, expensive and golden area in Shanghai, and uh, the charity cooperation is called I Do. Uh, things comes back, it looks like uh, many years ago when the opera wanted to find a director. The shop, the corporation wanted to find an artist to do this work as well. And the shop is about uh, 800 square meters. My ideal is to pull art from the sacred hall back into life. And I want to combine commercial things with art so that our citizens and our tourists can visit a museum, can experience this space, and then they can enjoy their shopping and do and buy what they want. <laughs> Sounds great. Okay, it's very hot. I can also uh, understand what it's like to work in a big place with no air conditioning. Thank you for everyone for being so patient. We're just gonna ask, take two questions from the audience for Zhang Wan. So, Thanks, Josh. Just one lady in, in the front here. Just wondering what sort of reaction you've had to your art, the Buddha in particular, from religious Buddhists and monks, if it's enhanced their appreciation in any way. Um, 世界上所有的宗教更好，这是一致的。那么我做一个佛教徒，这是我的生活。那么我的艺术跟我的生活跟我的工作是完全揉在一起的。No matter which belief, no matter God or Buddha, they are the same. And I think their terminal goal is. They want people to be more happy, they want people to be happier, healthier, and they want the countries to be better. And I am a Buddhist uh, uh, in life. This is my life, and I think in my life, I combine my artwork, my life, and my belief together perfectly. And also, Buddhists or some other gods, they have different names, they have different skins, they speak different languages, but I believe the goal is the same. One more question, the lady at the back. Hi, um, I was interested with the Buddha that um, when you presented it at Mona in Hobart in Tasmania last year, you presented it with a different hand gesture. Um, in Sydney, uh, the, is a different mudra, and I'm just wondering if you could ex uh, talk to, to why you made that choice. Uh, 现在我回到就是我今天特别想讲的就是香灰那么这些灰呢
，所以它聚集在一起，这么多灵魂聚在一起，真的像原子弹一样的那么大的 power。所以他们所带来的，心理佛所过来的是整个中国人的祝福在这边。Yes, this question is just what I want to say. Ash is not a material. Please do not、uh, consider ash as a material. To me, you see so many ton,、uh, so many tons of ash. You cannot imagine how many people and how many tons they really are. It is combined. It is burned by millions of people, millions of Chinese people. So to me, ash conveys our collective memories. Our collective hopes and blessings. You see, such a huge Buddha here in Sydney or in Mona, they convey our atom bomb. They looks like big Buddha, but in their body, they are so powerful. So I always say it's like all、uh, atom bombs when they blow. Is so energetic, is so powerful, so strong, and the Sini Buddha brings all the hopes and blessings of our Chinese people. So, I just wanted to、um, to thank. Zhang Wan, on behalf of Carriage Works,、uh, it's been a great honour and a privilege to work with you and to present your work again here in Sydney. Thank you for coming to Australia to to be here for the opening and to talk to us. Thank you for speaking to us、uh, so candidly and openly about your practice and and your philosophy.、Um, and we look forward to working with you again down the track.、Um, I'd like to thank Yolandi for your assistance and your patience.、Um, Your team, Zhang Wan, in Shanghai, who are incredible,、uh, and who worked with us over the duration of the installation, and were filled with、uh, rigor and energy.、Um, Joe Baptista from Pace, and, and your team, who have been true collaborators in this project, and have really、uh, worked with us in every step of the way. And of course, our colleagues here at Carriage Works, our director Lisa Havila,、uh, associate director Lisa French, our production team, who have made today possible.、Um, And the installation team, of course, who made the work possible. So the exhibition is on until the middle of March,、uh, through February and Chinese New Year and into Art Month. So come back many times to see how the Buddha changes、um, over the next few months. Thank you very much. All right. One more. One, one more. more thing, please. Wait. Hello. <laughs> 我真的，我觉得还没开始讲呢。我正要往下讲呢，怎么就结束了？太遗憾了，我真的觉得才开始就结束了，这就是生命和生活。Why we stop so quick?、Oh. I feel like not beginning, but it ends. So this is life. This is our this is our life, and this is our life. Life. <laughs> <laughs>